So I got a YouTube guideline strike. Now, if you don't know how this happened, let me get you caught up to speed. Basically, I was on YouTube trying to find my next YouTube video idea. And this video got recommended to me. Roblox games are actually fun. It has 460,000 views. And this channel has 45,900 subscribers. So I was like, okay, this video did well for this channel. So I was like, how could I do the same idea but not copy it on my channel? So I had this brilliant idea of doing Roblox games that need to be banned. And then I recorded it. I made the thumbnail for it. This is the thumbnail, by the way. There's nothing wrong with this thumbnail. This was a really good thumbnail. You'll see right here in a minute. So I posted the video onto YouTube. And guess what? In the first 20 minutes, the video got 110 views. For all the YouTubers out there, out of a 10, that video performed as a 2. So it was a 2 out of 10. So it actually had a reasonable chance of going viral. You guys are probably wondering, when's the termination part coming in? Don't worry, we'll get to that in a second. Did that guy oof? What was that guy doing? What are you doing, man? You have to go solve that puzzle. He just died. So anyways, I published the video. It got a 2 out of 10. Then guess what? 30 minutes after the video being released, I go onto YouTube to see how it was doing. And I get this warning right here. On the 11th of July, YouTube took the video down. And do you want to know why it got taken down? It got taken down for sex and nudity. Now you guys are probably wondering, Calvert, heck, does a Roblox YouTuber get their video taken down for sex and nudity? Well, guess what? It's possible. For those of you who watched the video, you'll know that when I went to one of those Roblox nightclubs games, since the video was Roblox games that need to be banned, <laughs> that nightclub game needed to be banned. Because there was a lot of sus stuff going on in that game. And it literally proved my point by deleting the video. That's how bad it was. So obviously, I can't show why it got taken down in this video. Otherwise, this video will get taken down. But imagine two Roblox avatars and one is standing right against a wall. And then there's another Roblox avatar going back and forth on the other Roblox after. Basically, teabagging, if you know what that is. So for the first time they removed it, that was just a warning. It wasn't a strike. A warning, it basically is like, hey, you violated the TOS. We're not gonna put a punishment on your channel, but if you do it again, we will. So I was like, uh, okay, it's probably YouTube just being YouTube, because their copyright strike system is so broken. Like, you could put bacon here in your thumbnail, bang. Copyright strike. YouTube, you need to fix that, by the way. But I'm getting banned. On, I'm getting banned. It's just Jova. So, yeah. So I was like, YouTube probably made a mistake. If I just appeal it and re upload the video again, it probably didn't violate TOS. Well, guess what? I re uploaded the same exact video again. I know. Stupid mistake for me. Five minutes later, I get this notification on the 13th of July. Strike. Keep in mind, the first one was a warning. Hence why, if you go to my channel, and you go to live streams. My last live streams was two weeks ago. I streamed 20 hours ago. So the live streams disappeared. And so did the videos. Because my last upload was 13 days ago. Now the way how the YouTube strike system works. Is if you get a first strike. You won't be able to post live stream short videos on your channel for 7 days. You can't even access the community post. Now if you get a second strike. You won't be able to upload for 14 days. So that's 2 weeks. The penalty doubles. And if you get a third strike, guess what? YouTube's like, no. Nah. You got one strike, you got a second strike. No more chances, your channel's terminated. And each strike you get, if you get a first strike or a second strike, it won't expire till 90 days. Is that a hacker? So yeah, I re-uploaded the same video again. Got taken down the first time, and it got striked. That's like robbing a bank, getting caught, but nothing happens. And you go back the next day, you rob the bank again, and you get caught. It's so stupid. I'm so dumb. Why did I do that? So then I appealed both of these, and guess what? And it says, we have reviewed your appeal for the following. We reviewed your content carefully and have confirmed that it violates our sex and nudity policy. We know this is probably a disappointing news, but it's our job to make YouTube a safe place. We won't be putting your content back up on YouTube. And if your appeal was for a strike, the strike will remain on your channel. Also, why is this guy punching me for? Get away from me. But this game's bugged out. So, yeah, basically, if I was to get two more strikes on my channel, it's Jova. The channel's getting terminated. The chances of that happening is really, really low. But then again, YouTube moderation sucks. Sorry, YouTube. I'm so sorry. But, like, your copyright strike system, man. If anything happens on a situation, any updates, I'll post on my Twitter. Go follow it, by the way. Link in the description. Hopefully, YouTube can remove it because it sucks having a strike on the channel. Also, apparently, if I say smash that like button, the like button glows up. And if I say smash that subscribe button, it glows up too. Let me know if it works. That would be really cool if it glow up. Looks like we're stuck with one strike on the channel. I'm going to go cry now. Watch this video over here to make me feel better. Trust me, you will regret it.
I'm not lying, you actually will.